YouTube, welcome back to Hacker 101. All right, so today I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 7 in VirtualBox for your pen testing lab. So if you know Windows 7 it's highly vulnerable and we can use that in our pen testing lab to learn how to use some of the tools I'm going to teach you. All right, so before we get started, let me go ahead and load up my disclaimer. All right, guys, so you know in all the demonstrations, all the hacking that I do on Hacker 101 channel um, are conducted on my own equipment. I own the routers. I own the VMs. These are my personal, uh, this is my personal property. Um, I don't support any illegal activity, and before any hacking activities, you should always have permission. All right, so with that being said, let's, um, I'm going to close this. Go ahead and open up a browser. Um, because we need to download the Windows 7 ISO image. And I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, that way you can go ahead and go get this downloaded. Um, you may want to pause the video and down download the ISO image. And then you can continue once you have it downloaded. I have already downloaded the ISO image. Um, but you'll need to do so. So click on, click on the link and go here. You'll see the Internet Archive page. And this ISO image right here is 3.17 gigabytes. So it's going to take, you know, I don't know how fast your internet. It took me like 10 minutes, I think, maybe maybe a little less. Um, but download the ISO image. And then once you do that, uh, go ahead and hit pause while you download. And then once you do that, then come back to the video. And what we're going to go ahead and close this window now. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up. Uh, let's open up VirtualBox. So you should have the ISO image downloaded. Now, Let's create a new, so you should also have VirtualBox already installed. Go ahead and click on New. We'll give it a name, Win7. You can leave it in the default folder, like your users, um, Chad, VirtualBox, you know, your, your, whatever your default folder is. Uh, I'm going to select the ISO image that we downloaded. Go to Other. Click on your Downloads and select your Win7 ISO. Open that. Click on Skipped Unattended Installation. We're going to do this manually and hit Next. You can leave the memory to 2 gigabytes. You can leave the C uh, processor to one CPU. Hit Next. Leave the virtual hard disk. Leave it at 32 gigabytes, the default. And then just hit Finish. Once you do that, you'll see Win7, and it's powered off. Let's click Start. And this is going to boot up the virtual machine that is going to load the ISO to start the setup process on um, on your window for your Windows 7. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this. All right, we'll let this load up. All right, when you get to the screen, just um, select your language, hit Next. Click on Install Now. All right, I accept. We're going to do a custom advanced installation. We have an un unallocated hard drive here, 32 gigabytes. So we're going to create a partition where we can install the Windows operating system. Click on New. And just leave the default, hit Apply. Hit OK, and then you can just hit Next. And this is going to copy the files over it, and it's going to install the Windows operating system. This is going to take 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. So I'm not going to sit through the, you know, we're not going to wait for this through the video. I already have another virtual machine started up. Um, so what what will happen is this will install. It's going to reboot the machine twice, and each time when it reboots, it's going to say press any key to boot from the CD. CD or DVD, do not press any key, just let it reboot normally. And it's going to reboot twice, and then once it's finished rebooting, it's going to bring you to the screen where you um, enter, you create a user account. And I'm going to show you that on, on my other VM that I have started. So for the sake of time and for this video, I'm going to go ahead and just stop this VM, but let yours continue until you get to the screen where you create your user account. I'm going to close this. I'm going to shut it off. And then I have my other VM that is already at that next screen. So, all right. So once you've rebooted twice, you should see the Windows 7 Ultimate screen. 
This is where you're going to give yourself a username. All right. Hit next. And you need to set a password. All right. Give it a password hint. Hit next. Product key. You can hit skip. Install important updates only. You can leave the time zones. You can change your time zone. I'm going to leave it set to um, this. My mouse is acting crazy. All right, hit next. Uh, we're going to set the network to be a home network. That will go ahead and apply all the network settings. All right. This only takes a couple of minutes. All right, that'll finalize the settings. So let that finish. All right. So Sharing your desktop. Okay. All right. So now Windows 7 is installed. But at this point, you know, the screen is small and it's kind of hard, you know, to do anything with it. So you go to Devices, Insert Guest Edition CD Image. And then we're going to go down here to Explore. Open that up. Click on Computer. Go to the CD ROM drive. Install this package, and you, you want to install the one that is labeled VBox Windows Editions AMD 64. Sorry, I moved a little too quick there. Hit next, next, install. It's going to pop up a couple of prompts asking you, do you want to install? You can say always trust from Oracle, install. And what this is doing is this is going to install the video drivers. Um, to allow you to have a a, a, a full resolution, uh, a full screen. This only takes a couple of minutes to install the drivers. And then once this is installed, you do, do not use this operating system for any personal stuff. Do not go to your Google account or anything or Gmail or use it for anything because it is very vulnerable. All right, so just click on finish. And that's going to reboot. And then once it reboots, then you'll have a normal resolution. And you can actually work with it. And the mouse will respond a little better. And it'll be a lot easier to work with. But we're going to usually just keep this this minimized. And we're going to um, use Fire Up Kali Linux and use Exploit or Empire. Um, to hack into this Windows 7 box. So it doesn't need a whole lot of memory. And we're not going to be interacting with the desktop too much. All right, so here. Just um, log in. And then full, uh, we'll get a full resolution at this point. And you'll have things like, you know, like your clipboard function where you can copy and paste. It help, you know, it installs all kinds of drivers. I mean, and it is a little slow on the default memory settings. You can increase your memory you know, to um, whatever you like. Just, you know, it just depends on how much memory you have on your machine that you can allocate. Try that again. All right. So now, we have, sorry, the video, um, there we go. So now we have Windows 7 completely installed in VirtualBox, um, ready for you to practice pen testing.
like I said, and I'm going to repeat it again, do not use this to surf the internet or anything like that or to get on Telegram. It is highly vulnerable. So um, this is how you install uh, Windows 7 in VirtualBox for your pen testing lab. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this to be useful, hit the subscribe button and I will show you in some future videos on how we can hack this Windows 7 box using tools like Metasploit or Empire. So, all right, stay tuned. Thanks.